Hi guys, uh, so I'm right here for my chat with you guys. Uh, thank you for all the lovely questions and I know a lot of you want me to just say hi to you guys. Uh, I, I will and I would love to but um, then we won't have any time to answer any questions. So uh, I think let's start uh, with some questions here. Which is The first question is Tanisha, which is the next director you wish to work with? Um, I have a great, I have a big wish list for directors. Um, you know, I'm a big Imtiaz Ali fan, Raju Rani fan, uh, Zoya Akhtar. Um, so yeah, if any three of them are listening and uh, writing the next film, uh, guys, I'm here. Uh, second question is uh, from Mong. He's in uh, from Bangladesh. I'm a diehard fan of yours. I just want to say namaste to you and your parents. Well, uh, namaste Mong uh, to uh, me from you in Bangladesh. And I will say uh, namaste to my parents from your side. Uh, I hope you keep watching my films and enjoying it. And uh, yeah, once I come there, I'll say hi to you in person. Tina, Tina wants to know which is my all-time favorite movie and my favorite Hindi song. All-time favorite movie, uh, see, picking one is very, very unfair. I think uh, I like the ones I grew up on. I can tell you was uh, Chupke Chupke, uh, Rishikesh Mukherjee film, uh, you know, Angoor, uh, uh, then Mr. Bachchan's films, you know, Shole, uh, and then recent time when I started watching films on my own choice would be, uh, you know, all the Shah Rukh Khan fans, uh, films. I'm a big fan of uh, DDLJ, uh, Yash Chopra Ji's Lamhe, uh, Hum. Uh, yeah, loads I can keep going on here. Yeah. Um, and as far as the songs are concerned, uh, um, again, I like old uh, Kishore Kumar songs, uh, which are all retro and I think they're very meaningful. And um, yeah, and, and, and he was a great singer for all heroes, anyways. Uh, next question is uh, from Swapna. You had beefed up your body for brothers and played a guy in Kapoor and Sons. How easy or difficult it is for me to, trans to transform and how do I manage to stay healthy in spite of weight uh, fluctuations? Um, yes, I had to go a lot. Uh, you know, I have done a lot of ups, ups and downs in my body. Uh, it takes a stress and toll on your um, you know, bones, your structure, uh, on your moods at time. I was eating a lot of meat and protein. Uh, eating a lot of meat and protein. Um, so I think, but the trick there is to know scientifically. I like to read and uh, mug up things about fitness and health myself. Um, so yeah, I was trying to use certain signs of increasing uh, intake and you know keeping my output less or more. Um, it is strenuous. I won't recommend it for you guys, uh, but uh, there is a healthy natural way. I don't like using heavy chemicals and substances. So um, guys, anybody who tries to tell you or gets you into heavy chemicals, uh, don't listen to them and stay away. Next question is uh, from Sweja. Yes. Or I think uh, that's your just your nickname, Senior Veja. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's how similar you are to your character from Arjun, uh, character Arjun from Kapoor and Sons. Hmm. Uh, very actually, Arjun, Kapoor and Sons, ka, the character which I played, which is Arjun, is uh, I think family-wise, very similar to how I am. Um, I come from a family of, uh, you know, my elder brother and my parents. Um, I've stayed, again, middle-class upbringing. Uh, it's exactly how Kapoor and Sanzan was. Um, I have a dog. In that film, I had a dog in, in, in real life as well. Uh, and instead of a grandfather, I had a, a dadi. And obviously, my dadi was not as colorful as our grandfather. But uh, I would say Arjun uh, from Kapoor and Sanzan is pretty close to how I am in real life. Okay, next question is from... Uh, Sweda, she's in from Denmark. All right, hi. Um, hi, Sid. Just want to know when will you come to Copenhagen and uh, Denmark? Well, um, I don't know. Are we shooting a song? Do you guys have uh, great locations and uh, uh, maybe come there for romancing one of the my future heroines? Um, so yeah, uh, is this a possibility? Pretty soon, I will let you know. Okay, next is from Shubhangar. How? Tough was it for you to be a part of the Indian film industry? Mm, it is, It is. I would say, um, it's A, uh, the most competitive industry because there are thousands and, and, and lakhs of people who come in and try to become actors. Um, so I had to stand out. And uh, I think for me, the main thing was how to uh, come across like that. I do know what I'm uh, talking about. I do know how it works. Uh, or how the industry works, how you make a film. Um, I think for me, it helped to go behind the camera. So I think, uh, yeah, I think assistant direction 
was a great stepping stone and I find myself pretty lucky that I got a chance to work um, as an assistant director in, a, in Dhamma Productions uh, in a film like My Name is Khan where you know the best in the business were working and I got to learn so much and, and that was my stepping stone to um, do student of the year. Um, so yeah, man, I think uh, it was very difficult but I think acquire a skill and uh, acquire uh, and study in the field that you want to get into is the main uh, reason or main point. Okay, next question. Uh, Sarah, what is that one thing that truly inspires you? Uh, you know, coming from a middle class uh, upbringing, uh, we, first of all, it was, it was when, I, I, when I was growing up in Delhi, if I had to tell somebody that I a Bollywood character, one, it's a very typical thing or it's a very, uh, uh, very light-hearted. People think that you're joking. People think that, you know, like every younger kid, he just wants to become you know, a hero who doesn't want to. Um, I think inspiration comes from uh, a self-belief. Inspiration comes from uh, a certain amount of uh, knowledge in your own skill and craft that, that you know, you have something in you uh, that can be, uh, you know, can make you stand out and, you know, you have dreams and if you work at it, if you're at the right place and as I said, acquire that skill, know how film filmmaking works. Uh, I think so my inspiration came from, uh, you know, a, seeing actors like Mr. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan and you know admiring their films and seeing that he came from the outside and made it all the way to Mumbai he was also from Delhi um, and otherwise I think uh, from a lot of work and uh, from a lot of preparation okay we have uh, some some other questions which is who inspires you the most who inspires me the most which is the same questions uh, which Sarah has asked and this is Sanya uh, her question as well um, to be honest, I think while I was growing up, uh, big Shah Rukh Khan fan. So yeah, I think I would say uh, Shah Rukh Khan, and and luckily he was my first uh, producer as well from Student of the Year. Um, and uh, from in terms of other styles and actors that I admire, um, I think it would be Mr. Bachchan, um, and uh, and all say I think all the earlier Yash Chopra films, uh, which had something a great amount of charm and charisma to them. Um, yeah, and the next question is from Di Dhyanya. She's from Romania. Uh, she has heard that I will be a part of Ashiki 3. Is it true? Also, I love Oscar. Please say hi to him. Well, Oscar's right here. He's taking a nap, guys. Uh, I will wake him up. Uh, if you guys do want to see if that is him. Oscar! Okay, see, he, he's, he doesn't listen to me all the time. But, okay, so I will take you guys to Oscar just to say hi to him. Buddy, come here. Come here, boy. Okay, this is uh, also loitering around. Um, if you guys can see him, yes, you guys can see him now. This is Oscar trying to chat. He's uh, a pretty going guy, pretty laid back uh, today on a Saturday at 2 p.m. This is what he does. As I said, I will ask him if he's free, but uh, yeah, Oscar. Okay, that's him. Uh, we, will, we will get him to answer some questions before. And I will show you. Uh, so anyways, I've shown you guys some tricks that I've uh, taught him. He can put his tongue inside, which is normally just loitering outside. Um, yeah, coming back to your question, if I'm, am I doing Ashiki 3? Uh, well, I know there's lots and lots of um, <coughs> chatter about Ashiki 3. Um, little bit to clear the air. Yes, we're in talks. Uh, but I am actually looking for the final script. Uh, uh, it's all the people that I would like to work with. I worked with Mohit Suri before. Um, I worked with Alia before. Uh, I have never worked with, uh, uh, you know, Vishesh films. So that'll be a first. But uh, yes, if there's a great script and uh, and we all want to be a part of it, Ashiki Three is on the uh, uh, is is in the plan, but not confirmed as yet. So that's all I can say. Okay, next is from Ayushi. When will Bar Bar Deko trailer release? Ayushi, we have. Um, Yes, we have great plans for Barbar Dekho. It's uh, it's one of my most uh, special films so far. Uh, we have a surprise for you guys end of the month, so watch out this space uh, for it. And uh, yes, very very soon, I would say, uh, as I said, by end of this month or beginning of the first uh, of the next month. And um, yeah, you will see Barbar Dekho and lots more very soon. Okay, next is from Fatima. If not an actor, what would you be? What would you like to become in life? If not an actor. Mm, I don't know, I think it would be... What I would like to do, which might not be that... 
ambitious from my parents side would be to just giving some lessons in some adventure sports or river rafting instructor uh, as uh, when I went uh, to Rishikesh when I was young I loved the river and how amazing it was and how thrilling it was to just be in the water and raft down you feel uh, everything when you're on an adventure sport you know you have excitement you have fear you have um, you know you have a skill that you have to learn so I think yeah I'll probably be giving river rafting lessons yeah. uh, Yashika which school did you study in? I studied in uh, two schools in Delhi. I, I, from the beginning, I was in all boys school um, in Don Bosco, uh, which is in Alakanda. And then after that, I went to uh, a school in Chanakya Puri, which is the Naval Public, last two years, 11th and 12th, because uh, I wasn't that good in studies and I didn't get the subjects that I wanted. Uh, so yeah, I changed my school. And, and actually, that taught me a lot because I went from all boys to a co school. So then, hi girls at 11th and 12th. Um, then, next question is from uh, Michelle. She is from the Philippines. Will you ever do a role that is totally different from the tough, strong characters you played before? Uh, would you ever play a role of a vulnerable or disabled character? Oi, okay, all right, okay. Oscar really wants to chat with you guys now. There he is. He's pressing the laptop and getting all. Yes, 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 Oscar. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so there he is now. He's woken up. I think he he's working on a timetable which is a bit late. So maybe he thought it was 2:15. Then we have to chat with you guys. Oscar, say hi. Come here. Okay. Say hi. Yes. Yes. Say hi. Okay. That's Oscar saying hi to all. Okay. 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 And then there he goes, uh, going about his day and excited. Uh, but yeah. So that was Oscar, uh, my buddy. Any questions for him, guys? You please let me know. <clears throat> okay, I have uh, next question is from from Sons. How easy or difficult it was for you to get uh, to get this transformation? How do you manage to stay healthy? I think we already answered that. Oh, that is Oscar spoiling my uh, questions. Sorry, guys. Uh, going to the next one, which is uh, trailer. Yes, uh, Michelle. She's from Philippines, which says, "Will you do a role that is totally different from the tough, strong characters you've played before?" Would you ever play a role of a vulnerable or disabled character? Hi, Michelle. Uh, of course, I think it's not um, it's not that I'm trying to portray an image of myself in my movies. Uh, for me, as you would have noticed, every film that I've done has a has a storyline, has has a character, has a graph. Everybody has motivations for the reason why they're doing that. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've tried to keep it very character driven, more than uh, you know making it my uh, my own persona or trying to portray an image. So if there's a character which is vulnerable or disabled uh, and has a story that I feel needs to be told, um, definitely, I would love to, yeah. Uh, next is from Zainab. What is it that goes through your mind when you sign up a movie? What is that you often look uh, for in a script? Well, uh, Zainab, this question is very similar and she's from Nepal, so hello. Uh, very similar to what Michelle asked me before. Um, I think the first thing I look for is, is there a graph, is there a character that is going through a journey uh, from the beginning of the film to the end of the film, um, is he learning something, are we trying to uh, give a message or a storyline, uh, basically it has to excite me from a, from a story point of view, from a character point of view. Uh, of course, I'm not averse to you know all the fun, be it a love story, uh, be it a comedy, be it action. Um, but yeah, I think just a graph in terms of start to finish. Uh, okay, guys, so last few questions, um, and uh, here we go. Which is and uh, mm -hmm. all right. There's 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 Smriti Mush. Okay, sorry. The last few questions are. Ajay Pratap, do you plan to do similar roles like Kapoor and Sons? Uh, well, uh, do they plan to make similar films like Kapoor and Sons? Uh, if they do, I've already done that film. Um, but uh, I don't know what you mean by similar. But uh, yeah, of course, it was a lovely film. And I love that genre of um, you know keeping it real and keeping it, keeping it very entertaining at the same time. So I would love to. Uh, <coughs> Sambhavi has a question for Oscar. Oscar's favorite food. <laughs> Oscar's favorite food uh, at recent he's he's loving chicken liver uh, well he's yeah we keep shifting him from veg and non-veg uh, he's obsessed by uh, chicken 
and um, yeah, anything with chicken liver. And he, he's a bit fussy at times. I think I've spoiled him a bit too much. But uh, anything when I give him chicken, he just gobbles it down. So yeah, it's easy. Uh, next question is from uh, last few question again. Uh, Monisha, can you please wish my best friend Harshita happy birthday? Okay, uh, Monisha's best friend Harshita, uh, happy birthday! Lots of love and have an amazing, amazing year. Uh, Siti, a film you wish uh, to have been a part of? Ooh, um, loads. Uh, uh, I think Bachchan Saab's Bachchan Saab's Hum. Uh, where he has a past which is so aggressive and at present he's having this you know he's he's battling with his family and and the past coming back and uh, it's, it's all that hero moments and uh yeah hum uh bright has a question which is your favorite cartoon Ooh. uh well in recent times uh uh i think uh, i grew up on a lot of uh, various ca cartoons seeing you know our desi cartoon which is Mowgli or, or you know Asterix and uh, which is the international one or um, Mickey Mouse uh, not Mickey Mouse sorry uh, there was uh, Popeye uh, and in recent time would be Simpsons um, and uh, even though it's a bit it's not for children but even South Park guys I've seen a bit of that uh, okay sorry guys the so last few questions and uh, I think Oscar wants to say bye to you guys which is okay come here this side, Oscar. Okay, come, Oscar, come. Yes. Okay, that's him. Come here, Oscar. Hi. Okay. Okay. So, uh, actually, sorry, guys. He's. Oh, okay. He's. He's pressed the button. Then your questions are gone. So sorry. But uh, so bye from uh, me and Oscar. We had a lovely chat. Oscar, did you have fun with this chat? No. No. He's. He's busy. Okay. That's him. Oscar. Say bye to everyone and uh, we will see you guys in the next chat. Lots of love. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, I will see you soon in Bhagavad Deco now, end of the month. Uh, watch this space for more. Lots of love. Thank you for all the questions. Thank you for all the love. I read all of them. Uh, maybe I don't get time to reply to you guys, um, but uh, I do accept all the love and you're always in my thoughts. Um, so yeah, see you guys again. Bye-bye. Uh, Lots of love.